A common misconception is that youth vaping leads to smoking. If that was the case, then the increase in youth vaping would have led to an increase in youth smoking. Where vaping is available, however, youth smoking rates decline drastically. For 20 years, government statistics have been tracking youth smoking rates through population surveys every two years. If we compare smoking rates to the prior rates, we get a percent decrease. When vaping was introduced to mainstream in Canada and the US, the youth smoking rates decreased at a rate more rapid than ever before. As stated in 2018 by the National Academy of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine, e-cigarettes could similarly reduce risk to youth who take up e-cigarettes instead of combustible tobacco cigarettes. We agree with them, and statistics prove it. This is very good news, except for industries that profit from smoking-related diseases and organizations that receive funding from them. It's important to know that wherever vape shops have been forced out of business due to high taxation or flavor bans, youth smoking rates have increased. For more information on vaping that is based in scientific evidence, please visit vaep.info. And if you would like to support vaping education, visit our online shop at vaepmail.com. Look good in one of our teas and invite people to visit our website by having them scan our QR code right here in the sleeve.